Uh, I feel like young, young Dawkins, before I even knew what football was, I was just a big kid, like, running around. Nah, like, uh, it's starting to come back. Like, like my conditioning, it took a hit, but that's all a part of it. And, uh, but I'm starting to feel more and more like in myself every day. You know, I'm just hitting the field as hard as I can without over, over stressing it. And I'm just, rock, I'm just rocking out. What were those two weeks like? Man, it was honestly, man, it was the, it was the, one of the lowest points that I've ever been. Like, I never even thought that I can get in that low because, like, I'm so, like, uh, I'm so animated. Like, I'm so animated. And that, that hit hard. Like, even, like, with the mental stuff, like, like, it hit every part of me. And I was shocked that it can even hit that. And, um, but uh, being in the hospital was probably the hardest part because I was like, man, like, like, I'm in the hospital. My team is out there working. And I'm here, you know, like, I'm not helping if I'm not present. What were you, how long were you in the hospital? When did you go? Um, I think I was in there for like four days. I think it was like like four days. Um, but it was just like they had me up like fluids. Like they were just like, like just trying to just get me back. What were some of the physical symptoms that you were battling? Yeah, uh, well, honestly, if there's a checklist for it, it was everything. It was shortness of breath. It was the hot and cold. It was the... It was the cough, it was, it was like everything, like the dehydration, like all of the, the body stuff, like the, like, like the releasing of the body, like everything was just, just at its highest, worse. Do you have a message for those vaccinated, Yeah, what absolutely. Man, uh, I, like I would say honestly, truly, right? Like uh, I didn't know what to believe at first because there was a lot of unknown, areas about uh, COVID and the vaccine and not the vaccine. But when I took that initiative to get vaccinated, um, I just wanted to do what and was right. But the message that I probably would overall say is uh, do what you're most comfortable with. But I'm glad that I had the vaccine when I had COVID, um, you know, and I wish that I could have been fully, fully vaccinated. I was right before the fully vaccinated point. But, uh, you know, if I was fully, like, I think that it would have been a little bit easier on, on myself. But, hey, whatever you're, like, comfortable doing, do it. But just do your research and just try to, you know, just think about others because everybody is going to go through it differently. Like, some people, it's it's just a day of hurt, and some people, it's two, it's two weeks. Some people... It's longer, so just uh, do your research and you know follow what your heart says. Just to clarify, you said you had gotten the vaccine. Were you in like a two-week window after you got exactly. the shot? Exactly. Exactly. So, between shots or after? I was the I was in a two-week window. I was in a two-week window, almost almost fully done. I was like a like a day or two short, and 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 then it hit. But um, yep. yeah. When you got back here and glad that you're all right. Mm -hmm. What was the reaction from your teammates and what have those conversations been like because you you know you did get vaccinated and you went through the whole process of having it but what are those kind of conversations been like well uh overall the first reaction was dang Dion, like you skinny because i lost uh, like uh some some water weight and uh weight but uh overall it was just guys just just wanting knowledge of exactly like what was like going on and uh how it really like made emmy feel and um you know i just told them the honest truth of what I went through, of like the quarantine period, being away from my family and uh, just being alone and the whole process of everything and letting them understand that that's a point that you really don't wanna like get to, especially when ball is going on. So, you know, just, I was just overall like honest with them and just was feeding whatever they wanted to hear. You know, just just the raw, honest truth. Whether it sounded good or it sounded bad, I I just shot it straight. What convinced you to get vaccinated when you decided to, and uh, what maybe um, led you to be hesitant uh, before before so? Um, well, I have a son who uh, who is a premature son, and uh, he had uh, like as you know, like when you have a preemie, the last things to grow is is your lungs, and um, I was just thinking about my my family, that if I got COVID, I can p and potentially harm him because it attacks the the uh, the lungs, 
And um, I just wanted to just make sure that my family was protected and also to, I guess, do what was right for myself and for this team, you know, because uh, the rules of being vaccinated and not, they're all up in the air. And I just wanted to just think about ball. So if getting like vaccinated was the right direction, let's do it. Like, um, you know, I'm here to play ball. I have a family to take care of, and I just want to just do whatever is just going to keep my mind on my and routine and the other stuff, just leave to the doctors and the people who study that, just like how we study plays. How, how old is your son now? Uh, shoot, man, my son's getting older every day. He was born in so about six, six months. I think he just hit like six months. He was born in February. So out of that February, March, April, May, June, yeah. Yep, so he's on the, the up and up now. Um, he's a big little kid. What's his name? <laughs> uh, Dill. His name is Dill. Dill Ray Dawkins. D yeah. I L D I L D I L Dill Ray. Dan, are there still some lasting <clears throat> side effects right now? And how close do you feel like you are to being game ready? Um, yeah. With you know, training camp coming to a close here. You know, um, McDermott's practices, they are tough. So I think the more of the practices that I go through and push through, I'm gonna be perfectly fine. But the symptoms, uh, like they're not loud, how I would say with it. Like I'm still like, like I'm still like tired, like in practice, like I'm like, whew. like we just like went through warm ups, and I'm kind of, can I get a water? Like, like, so, but uh, that's all a part of it. Like I took a hit and now it's just time for me to get back. And I'm just glad that I'm back. And I feel like enough time to get myself ready, you know, like we have a lot of great players, and uh, we're all pushing. We're we're all pushing. How much weight? Did you Man, I I went from like 333, 334 to like 318, and then you know, cause I wasn't really eating, like I didn't have a, have an appetite, and then once I got back, and then I started eating three meals a day, then you could put on like three or four pounds easy. So. Do you feel like you have enough time to get to where you need to be for week yeah. two? I, like, like, absolutely. Like, uh, overall, like, I want to give all of the credit to the to the training staff and the the doctors and the and the strength staff that has been working with me at, like, like every day, because I was completely lost. But they gave me the the knowledge and the stuff that I needed to get through it. Like, I'm in here every day. I'm I'm, I'm on my vitamins. I'm conditioning. I'm working out slowly. Like everything is it's just like their process of what they're doing. It just feels right. And every day I've been getting better and better in practice, like as in pushing. And, um, you know, I'm just following what the plan is, you know. Go ahead. Sean was pretty blunt on Sunday when he said that you had a ways to go and that you had a long road back. What have your conversations been like with him or maybe other members of the coaching staff? I mean, look, um, I just got to push. I just got to push. You know, uh, the best way to get in football shape is to play football. And I have not been playing football. This is uh, like my second really like full, full, full padded practice or third. And, um, you know, like it takes time. So like all of like the small, minute stuff that as you get older, you don't really think of, I got to dial like back in because everything is full speed where everybody has took steps and then hit the ground rolling where I'm just like, all right, right in the fire. But, you know, like that's what happens like when you lose like two weeks. Like we're two weeks in and I'm two days in. <laughs> so I just gotta just keep pushing myself and just get myself right. Cause playing tackle and getting all of the of the steps and the mindset and all of the new rules and everything, I just gotta overly work it and just pre prepare at myself and for battle. Yeah, you're one of the one percent of athletes in the world. Yeah. Was there ever a moment when you're in the hospital going, I can't believe this is me? A hundred percent. That was the first thing that I thought of. I said, man, how am I a professional athlete and I'm down bad like this? I said, I can't imagine people who aren't healthy and don't like work out and really like don't do anything. Like I was like, man, like just God bless them. Cause like I just got off of an, an off season where, where I was grinding every day. And then as soon as I come back, I got hit with it. So it was just like, man, like this is crazy, but you know, this is a world fight and I just got hit with a bullet, so. It is and what it is. Yeah. Were you ever were you ever nervous? I mean, you talk about you know wanting to do the right thing for the team, protect your family. Yeah. Was there ever a point in the hospital where you're just nervous about yourself? 100. percent I didn't uh, like and like I said, like I didn't know that my mind could get to the to the 
to the low that it could get to. And I was extremely emotional, man, extremely emotional. Like, I didn't even think that I'm, I was that emotional. And I mean, like, like I don't want to, want to, like, uh, scare anybody, but, like, and like, there was moments that I was like, you know, like, I don't know if I'm going to make this. Like, like, I was down bad. I was down bad. Where, like, I could barely move, and I was just, I was just hurting. But, you know, you, like, you keep pushing. You know, God, like, has a way of doing stuff and making things happen, and, like, in your life so you can snap back and just, like, realize that, shoot, life can be over and before, and you know it. And regardless of what you made in life and what you did, you know, you, like, you just got to just keep stepping and just do and what's right because... You know, like you never know like what tomorrow brings, really. Think, well, I'm sorry, Dion. Do you think with what you've been through and you're open about talking about it, mm -hmm. it's impacted some of your friends, family, let alone even teammates that Absolutely. have said, man, Dion can be through this. Yeah. Do you think have they talked to you about that? Absolutely. So uh, as far as like personal family, like I don't know about like the fans and stuff like that, but um, as far as like personal like family, um, when I got hit with it, it was like, dang. Dion like got hit and that's like our big dog. And um, like I know everybody is on board now with getting vaccinated because they don't want to go through it like how I did. And um, I was shocked like that I can impact the people that is around me like so closely like where they're like, all right, I'm about to get vaccinated. But it has, yes, like it has like from trickle effect all the way through and my family from my nephews to my mom, to my dad, to my, to my brothers and sisters, everybody. Like everybody has just been on board with whatever we have to do to just try to protect ourselves as much as possible. But let's do it. Yeah, so are you, you learned like anything weeks out of getting out of the hospital or is it more than three? No, nah, I have no idea. Okay. I have like no idea. Big it's been- you look, at, you look at what sets you back in the big picture of the NFL. Is it something where, I mean, should these, players all? I mean, is it easy to say everybody should be vaccinated in the NFL because everybody needs to get set back and yeah. and you guys work so hard for what you're trying to achieve. That's the truth, but you know, I don't think that I could ever say that everybody should just go ahead and do it because everybody's life is different. You know, like there's some people that believe in God or some people that don't. So to put everybody in one basket, like I can't find myself doing that. So I think that the proper way to answer that is uh, I really just want people to get the research of the good and the bad and the, and the examples and then go on your decision. But just take it with a grain of salt and, and not like the over emotion that goes with it. Just do your research and just figure out what goes best for, for you and your family and your situation. Sure. Two more guys. Could it? True or false, could a COVID situation in a team, two, three, four guys, really impact a season? Of course. Of course. I mean, like, you know, I mean, any, like, positive test can affect anybody because with all these tracers and, and all this, like, and technology, like, if I get it, if I'm playing next to John or Ike or Mitch, they could be out for a couple days and it could just trickle. So, like, I would say, like, of course, like, it could affect anything. Like, for example, if you had COVID, and you went home to your family, it could affect your family. So, yeah. Did you have any conversations with Cole Beasley? He's been pretty pretty vocal about being against the vaccine, yeah. kind of downplaying the seriousness of COVID. Did you have any conversations with him about what you went through? Um, so just to correct you, I don't think to defend Bees, um, well, that's my brother, and uh, we're all here together. And I don't think that he's downplaying it. I, I just think he's downplaying the the knowledge that was given to him. You know, like, uh, everybody learns differently. Like, I know as being an athlete, we were spoiled with, here, drink this, here, take this uniform, here, take this sweatsuit, here. This is what you should be doing to lose weight. This is what you should, should be doing to gain weight. Um, but I just think just the knowledge that, that was given um, in the world, not from the facility to him, not from from the world, like for bees, it just wasn't enough for him to make a uh, decision. And as a person, like, he just feels like he could just speak in his mind, in which he can, but I don't think that he was downplaying it. I just think that, you know, for a guy and like bees, like he just wants more, more and more knowledge to make the right decision. Yeah, I was downtown at a uh, general, there you go. 
Yeah, just a clarification again. I'm sorry, I think you said it already, but you got one shot and then a second shot and then COVID before the two week expired or before you got the second shot, did you get COVID? It was right before, so the second shot. Yep. And uh, it was just that two week window. Okay, before you're considered fully. There you go. You got the second shot. There you go, Sal. 